Today's quick tip has to do with crate engines or new engines and more specifically this little tag right there. Now obviously that means that there is no oil in this engine. That's how they usually come from the manufacturers or the builders. So the question is what oil do you put in and how do you break a new engine in? Well one school of thought is that people run out and buy all of the good synthetic oils and all of the additives and put them all in the engine because obviously you want to protect your investment, right? Well, the problem is if you do that, it's a good chance you're going to end up with an oil burner because that won't allow the engine to break in properly and seal up like it's supposed to. So, what do you do? Well, most crate engines like this will come with an instruction manual that will tell you what kind of oil to use and what the break-in interval is. But if you don't get this, a good rule of thumb is to break in an engine with conventional oil or better yet, a break-in oil. Now you see it says break-in oil right there on the bottle. A lot of people make this stuff. It has more zinc in it and more protectant to help protect the parts as they're working in. Then after a break-in period of about 500 miles, drain everything out then you can put in the oil that you're going to run for the life of the engine. That's also when you can start putting in additives and that kind of thing if that's what you want to do.